is up guys today we're by ourselves. we're solo mio i have no clue where we're going we're just going on a, a random ride it's a it's the wrong time though you know it's, it's rush hour go figure but oh well so fun fact i don't know how much longer the r1 is going to stay running with me because it took a big giant crap on me last week and I can't figure out why so anyway I rode it on a Thursday and it was good to go you know started up we stopped plenty of times started back up no problems two days go by and you know I'm gonna go ride with the homies and they come over to the house and my bike has absolutely no power whatsoever it the dash lights won't come on you know nothing like the battery's completely shot well it's a brand new battery so that kind of threw me for a loop so i was like oh man maybe maybe it's the stator well i checked the voltage on the stator and it's still good so i put a trick and charge on the battery the battery actually held the charge which tells me that the stator isn't overcharging it because if it was then it would have just completely fried the battery and that would have been all she wrote for that battery you know so i don't know the battery's been holding since then this is my first time riding it but we'll see how much longer it lasts or you know that might have just been a fluke accident and it might keep going i, I don't i don't know exactly we'll see i really hope we don't have any issues out of it but if we do we do that's why if it goes on but still it's just weird i've never had you know that kind of issue happen before i don't even know how much gas is in this thing i think that's so dumb all these electronics but it can't tell me how much gas is in the system until it's almost out of gas and then a light comes on and it's like hey guess what you're out of gas you should probably get gas soon like really really soon because you're about to be out never never understood any of that crap and that's how you uh, cut that lot so the skyline's doing good yeah been driving the skyline every single day i love it it's my daily driver i have a bunch of freaking parts on order it's coming from Japan, you know, they're like aero parts and look pretty parts, but they probably won't be here for another month. It's kind of irritating, but it's okay. It'll be worth it. I've already got my wheels. I've got my coilovers. I haven't put anything on yet. I'm just kind of waiting it out. Got a paint quote to have it repainted. Um, I sold my BMW. And you know, that was a six year project. I thought I'd be a little heartbroken over that, but surprisingly I wasn't, I guess, cause I, you know, have my dream car. So the BMW would have hit the back burner anyway. So that's a plus. Um, but yeah, driving that car is an absolute blast. It's like, I remember playing with it on like older video games, like the first Gran Turismo, I'm pretty sure it was on there on the regular PlayStation. And I was really young when that game was out. And I just fell in love with that car. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And it's funny because I told my dad that I picked it up and he was like, well, you always said that you would have one ever since you was little. And I was like, heck yeah. So it's just awesome that, you know, I finally, I finally got my childhood dream car, you know? And it's, it's always stayed my dream car. It's never changed. So, I mean, now, Honestly, the only other dream car I have is kind of unobtainable because, I mean, I want an Audi R8, a white one, with a gated six-speed, or a Lamborghini Huracan. I mean, that's that's about it. So, those are kind of unobtainable for me at the moment, but who knows what the future holds. I guess we'll see one of these days. But, I'm just... It's awesome having a car that, you know, it's it's an older car, 
but it makes me giggle like a little kid on Christmas Day when he gets what he wanted, you know what I mean? But it's every day, like after work, I walk to my car, I start it up and I'm just happier than a motherfucker just to be driving and I love it. Like I was kind of getting out of the car scene, like car shows were starting to bore me, like I just wasn't into cars, it was all motorcycles, like that's all I care about. But don't get me wrong, I still am infatuated with motorcycles, it's always going to be my passion. But having a car that just excites you that much to drive every day is just awesome because it brought back my love for cars which i mean i've always loved cars i just kind of started to get into where i could care less you know what i mean and it's like now i have all that funness i guess you could say back out of it and it's a good feeling so i'm excited one thing about owning a Skyline though is everybody that knows what it is loses their mind once they see it on the road. So essentially I could be going down the road and I'll be in the slow lane or the middle lane and we'll come up on traffic and I want to go around them. Well then there's somebody coming up right here and they stay right here and they stay right there in my blind spot or like right behind me or beside of me I mean or I can't get over and they're taking videos or pictures and then I have to slam on my brakes because traffic stopped and you know that's annoying but at the same time I mean it's like okay let them get their picture hey thanks wave at them appreciate it but then on the other hand it's like can you not wait till we're not in traffic like follow me to a gas station or something you know what I mean don't follow me home or anything but you know we'll go this way his frame going around a corner he can ride he can ride he throws that cruiser around a curve that's for sure but i'm trying to get it in his head like hey man we can just cruise i guess i'm gonna have to start getting my wife's bike just to go ride with my dad so he knows we can just chill anyway i'm almost to my dad's house so uh I'll see if I can talk him into riding. If not, you know, it's whatever. If so, then heck yeah, I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Either way, later. And we're back, guys. And I actually got my dad out of the house. I can't believe it. He is on two freaking wheels. Woo woo. That's my dad, y'all. His bike's pretty loud. I don't know how much of you can hear through the mic, but it's pretty loud. Wonder which way he's going to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Wait. 
No, he's gonna ask me. I don't care. Whichever way, it don't matter to me. Wherever, I'll follow you. Took off. Freaking wee wee's about to take off like a torpedo. And this bumpy road ain't helping anything. My bladder's like, hey, hello, I'm here. See, look at him, he freaking gets it. Most cru cruiser riders are just Peter Pat, but, but you know. this ride we're doing will get him addicted to riding again and I'll be able to record with my dad a whole lot more often. He hadn't rode in I don't know how long so maybe this will get him that itch again. That itch for two wheels. We'll see. We'll see. signal on. I should tell him. Nah, there's a curve coming up. You can leave it on. <laughs> he doesn't realize it. I want to turn on my signal. See if he sees it. There we go. <laughs> I guess he's had enough. Uh, I guess I'll follow him back to his house. Wait, go ahead and make sure he makes. 